Little Mix, thanks so much for sitting down to chat. You all look incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Um, now, as soon as I found out I was interviewing you guys, I was telling everyone around the office and everyone's going, they're the best chicks. They're so down to earth. Aww. They're so normal oh, and really lovely. You guys have been together for five years now. When sort of... You've six. Got s- like three, six. Oh. Is it six? Not yeah. just yet, but it, it will is, be. babe. When yeah, you are out. Like got put together, like actually oh, on that stage. Yeah, yeah. Wow. When, when's the bit where you turn into divas? Like when does that happen? Um, we're just good at hiding it. Jo- okay. Right. Can, no. Do you know um, what? I think because there's four of us, you can't be. Yeah. Because I think if if one of us was to be a diva, the other three would be like, right, you need to calm down. Yeah. yeah. We all keep each other grounded and humble. And we just have fun. We're not that them kind of girls, yeah. I don't yeah. think. And if there were to be one out of all four of you, who do you all think it would be? Don't you dare say me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do you know what? Leanne's... Mm. Jessie's a very business woman, so she'll yeah, literally be like, she won't let anyone wanna, tell her. If I don't want to do something, yeah. she won't, I won't do, do it. it. But then Leanne's a diva in the fact that like she doesn't want to carry her bag. Yeah, and yeah, like, right. if we don't, like if we don't park close better. enough to the entrance, she'll be like, really, we have to walk? I have got better. Okay. Have you? Oh, I am going to say. <laughs> No. Let's talk about the album Glory Days. <laughs> um, it's filled with just killer pop tunes. Thank you. Are these the Glory Days? Oh, they oh, are. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Times have been better. <laughs> um, now on the album, my favourite song is "Touch." Obsessed with oh, "Touch." Yes. Thank can't you. get it out of that's my head. Really. Mm. Yeah. Do you do you all have a favourite off the album that you just sort of can't get out of your head? Mm. Do you know what? I love "Touch" as well. Yeah. I feel like when "Touch" comes on in the car and I'm with my boyfriend, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Feel cool. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I love that feeling. The whole so, yeah. song is amazing, but for me, the first eight seconds are the best. Oh. You and I and nobody else. Is that my part? You and I and nobody else. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling, feeling it, nobody it really then it goes you in. Yeah. Can we sing that together? Ready? Oh my God. Ooh, okay. Go on, Leah. Go on, oh, on Lee. Three, two, one. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tone deaf anyway. Right, no, I'm tone deaf. Right. But yeah, that is just an absolute killer tune. Now, I was um, reading somewhere that you guys, um, I believe it was the your third album, you recorded a full album, then you all sat down together and started listening to it, and then you're like, nah, I'm not having a bar of this. Yeah. Let's start again. Yeah, it's true. Having a bar. Having a bar. Having a bar, having a bar, having a bar, having a bar of this. Like, I'm not having any of that. that. Yeah, I'm not having any of it. Because we don't, this is the thing with yeah. us. We're, very, we're perfectionists and we don't settle for rubbish. So um, when we make albums, <clears throat> we never just want to have album fillers. My voice is going really weird. It's so, a jet lag, it's darling. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the flying. Yeah. Like, we don't just want to have an album where you're like, oh, skip that one, skip that one. And then the only ones you like are the singles. Yeah. We literally want every song to sound like a single. So when we were listening to it with the label, we were like... Oh, skip that one, skip that one. And we've never had an album like that. So we were like, we can't be having that. Wow. So we scrapped it. That's impressive. We That's kept impressive. some songs that we loved. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine if we hadn't scrapped it and it just flopped? No. We wouldn't be here today. But we wouldn't. Think about it. Mm. Yeah. It's horrible. I think you would. I feel like it probably wouldn't have flopped. I think it well, still would have done well, but who knows? Who it knows? Danny wouldn't have the success that no. it had. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Another thing you guys are incredible at, and I'd love to see like an album, is full of covers. I was watching your oh. cover for Rihanna's Love on the Brain. Yeah. What a killer song. Thank you guys you. nailed that. And also, um, the mashup between Whitney Houston and Jason Derulo. Oh, yeah, we yeah, love that. Yeah, that's one. sick. Is, there, is that anything you'd ever, is that something you'd ever look into doing, or not really? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've thought about like acoustic albums yeah. Yeah. and doing like acapellas and stuff because we love doing all our arrangements and stuff, but obviously when we have the time. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know about covers. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe in like years and years to come. Yeah. Like well, that's we when you do like your before. ultimate hits. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Totally. Um, now, earlier in the year, I saw you guys on yeah. Alan Carr mm. and Aww. there was a little story about, was it you, Jade, with, uh, at Simon Cowell's place? Oh, yeah. Getting a little bit oh, excited. Oh, Could you tell really me about that? Is, I think that's one of my favourite memories yeah, of Little Mix. So funny. Genuinely. Really? I literally, I'll never be able to get over that embarrassment. Can you tell it's us about it for those who didn't we've know? never been to Simon's house. Was that, that was our first time? Yeah. yeah, it was. We'd never been to Simon's house, so we were like, imagine what it was going to be like. Yeah. And then we're really nervous when we walked in because it's like spot. Yeah, and there's a posh butler and he comes yeah. around with Wayne. And I was like, yeah. oh, sure, I'll have Wayne. And, and then we like, actually wanted to calm her nerves. Yeah. Mm. So anyway, so we went upstairs to like his really lovely balcony bit where we had drinks and he had a cigar. And <laughs> oh, class. He smokes a lot, he? Yeah, he does. And we were a sitting lot. down. And we were telling him our ideas of how we want to have a movie, like the Spice World movie. Yeah, cool. And he's like, oh, okay, do you want to show me some stuff then? So I was we quite do drunk like by this point. Yeah, okay. Dave was like <laughs> necking them down. Yeah. So we had um, As you do. 
I was nervous. <laughs> so we were showing him these like little sketches that we do on YouTube. Yeah. And we oh just Lord. find ourselves hilarious. We're right goons. And um, we <laughs> right <laughs> we're goons, showing him this that. video and he was watching it. And there, there's this bit in part of the uh, YouTube video that just literally makes us die. And it comes to that bit and we found it really funny that yeah. he was just watching this video of us. And Jade had just spat her whole... <laughs> Literally, pretty much like your whole, whole glass drink. Of wine. I took a massive gulp and it got the bit. I just went, and then yeah. it blew out all the candles. And it went Far on our out. manager Harry's face. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, it was like, all over his shirt. You could see oh, drops of spit like all over the table. Yeah, but what was weirder is they both carried on like it hadn't happened. Yeah, like they didn't want to yeah. embarrass us, which made it yeah. more awkward that they didn't like yeah, address they... the situation. So they're just sitting there with spit on them. Yeah, and then oh, I Lord. couldn't. You know, when you literally can't, can, I couldn't stop laughing. Laughing. Yeah. I was weeing. Because, oh, no. I, literally because I couldn't stop laughing. It was just. Did you ruin his nice velvet chairs or anything? Probably. It was the best moment. Oh. I spat that much, I blew all the candles I out on the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so much fun. Yeah. Now, horrified. speaking of Simon and um, talent shows, we've got a lot here in Australia. And it's sort of gotten to a point where I think, hey, maybe we need to sort of rest them for a little bit to let some new talent develop and yeah. then start again. Do you guys ever find that? Like, obviously, 2011, you were on The X Factor and you're, I mean, the best of the best, let's oh, be honest. Oh, thank you. And they kind of peaked <laughs> there. Do you think as well sometimes it's like, oh, let's give them a rest and sort of let people come up and then start them again? Yeah, well, maybe. That's not a bad idea, I think that's is a good it? idea. Yeah. 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 It's just money, really, isn't it? Just yes. to keep it going. Yeah. Oh. oh god, that was so honest. But you can't help but watch it, even though sometimes you you get a bit like, oh, same thing. Yeah. You can't. It's just so entertaining. Yeah. And there is always talent out there. There's always a gem. I think you just need to. I think they just need to find more ways of making the show interesting, so it's not the samey so, samey yeah. thing every time. Yeah. Um. Now speaking of TV in the UK, do you guys you guys have neighbours over there? Yeah. Yeah. I'm oh. more home and away, yeah. although I haven't watched it in no, a while. And, all the, and every time I like tune in randomly, yeah. there's like all these new characters that I don't know. And there's it's no really way you get back Yeah, there's yeah. nobody really original in Neighbours except, what's his name? Toadie. Toadie, Toadfish. No, yeah, I was going to ask you. There is. There's and still a few more. There's Paul Robinson. Do you remember Yeah, Paul, Paul Robinson. Robinson. Yeah. Is yeah. Steph still in it? Steph. Um, oh no! No, she's long gone. Stiff. I can't believe it's Locus. still going. Yeah. I know, I know. Listen, wow. Margot Robbie came from that. It's made of yeah, exactly mad. diamonds. So and it's Home and Away not that big over here. No, Home and Away is really big, but Neighbours is based in Melbourne. And we're in Melbourne. Oh, so I'm so I love I'm Neighbours. I'm a Ramsey Street kind of guy. Right. Yeah. Me and my mum would literally watch it religiously. Yeah. And if we miss an episode, it'd be so good. Next time you guys are here, I feel like we need to organise a cameo. I would for you guys love to be that. We were nearly on we Neighbours. Did, no, we it was Home and Away. Home and away. Was it? Hey, we got asked oh. to sing on Home and Away. No, we went, I think we yeah, were too we went, busy yeah, to do yeah. it. Okay, fair yeah. enough, fair enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, we did, yeah. Now, before I wrap up, oh I just want to do a really quick, quick fire round. I've got mm -hmm. 12 questions. I'm going to go, we've got, so you'll get three each. And oh. just the first thing that comes to mind, I want you to tell me. All right. Okay. Alrighty. First of all, favourite emoji. Ole, and I like this one. Okay, great. Um, Instagram story or Snapchat uh, story? Oh. Instagram story. All right, still or sparkling water? Still. No, sparkling. Sparkling oh. makes me oh, yeah, sick. Like it. <laughs> um, USA or Australia? Oh, don't ask me that. Come on, you have to say deep down, don't go. Say Australia. Okay. <laughs> um, ripped or unripped jeans? <laughs> ripped. Good one. I love um, that we're all wearing ripped jeans. We're all like... We're killing nah. it. Uh, <laughs> most famous person in your phone book? Ariana Grande. Mm -hmm. oh, how was touring with her? Incredible. Oh, yeah, fabulous. Um, Adele, or Be uh, Adele or Beyonce? Oh, that's tough. Oh, wow. Perry got stuck with a hard one. Oh, crap. Um, <laughs> oh, my gosh. It would have to, Quickly, okay, yeah. it would have to be Beyonce. Beyonce, okay. Yeah. Keeping up with the Kardashians or Geordie Shaw? Oh, none. Oh, Kardashians. I'd have to oh, go with really? Kardashians, yeah. Okay, favourite food? Domino's. Favourite Little Mix song? Uh, wings. Okay, favorite Little Mix album? Glory Days. And this is a hard one for you, Leanne. Favorite band member in Little Mix? Oh, for goodness' sake! <laughs> Perry, of course. Today, yes. <laughs> Joking? Awesome. No, I can't. I can't choose. Thank you so much know. for your time, Some ladies. Thank you. You're all the best. Um, you're amazing, and I can't wait to see you tonight. Good luck with the show. Thanks. Thanks.